Welcome to Job Form. My name is George, and today I'm going to show you how to create a WordPress post from a form submission. What does that mean? Well, when someone fills out the form on JotForm, it's going to automatically make that post on WordPress. This is really useful when you want to have a virtual assistant make posts to WordPress, but using your JotForm so you don't have to give them access to WordPress. Or maybe you already have a form that you would like to take advantage of that information that's filled out and make that post automatically on WordPress. So there's several situations where you might want to do this. So let me show you how to integrate JotForm with WordPress. Follow me to my desktop right now. Okay, this is our job form dashboard. Let's get started by creating a brand new form. So let's go into create a form. We're going to start from scratch. We're going to select classic form. You can also select card form if you like. Now we're going to rename this form. So we're just going to say WordPress post. Okay. And we're going to drag in the elements that we might need for our posting on WordPress. All right. So let's add, for example, let's add some short text right here that we're going to be using, for example, for title. We're going to add some long text for the content. We're going to name this content. We're going to also need this. Use this drop down that we're going to use for categories. And for categories, we're just going to say, for example, phones, tablets, desktops, laptops. And this is just for random purposes. I just demo purpose. Okay. So now we have the title, the content, the categories. Let's drag in the file upload for our image. Okay. Here it is. Let's drag it in here. And we're going to say upload image. Okay. So now we have title, content, categories, and upload image. Okay, let's go now integrate. Okay, right? let's go into settings. Let's choose integrations. We're going to search for WordPress. Let's select it. And now we're going to integrate using Zapier. So that's going to be our integration to connect one with another. So what we're going to do is create a WordPress post from a new job form submission. So when a new submission comes, we're going to integrate with Job form to WordPress. Okay. So now comes the part for configuring your zap. Let's get started. Select your Zapier account that you want to use. Select the account for dot form. If it's not selected, we'll have to integrate and authenticate. Let's select the form that we want to work with. So in this case, is, is this one that we selected WordPress post? Let's go next. Okay, so now comes the part where we want to connect with WordPress. Let's go to connect WordPress and it's going to ask for the details that it needs to log in. Now, heads up, we need to install a plugin on WordPress so it actually connects. So let's go really quickly to our WordPress site. Okay, here's a WordPress site. We're going to go into plugins. We're going to add a new plugin. We're going to search for Zapier. Okay, let's install the plugin. Remember, it's this one by, by Zapier. Okay, don't install another one. This is the correct one. Let's activate it. Okay, now it's activated. Let's go back to our authentication. Okay, and now we need to type in the details from the website where you log in. Um, by default, it's going to be WP admin or WP login.php. If you have customized it, use the right link. So in this case, we'll add this one my test site here really quickly. We're going to add our username that we use on WordPress, not the username from dot form. So in this case, it's admin and input your password again from WordPress, not from dot form. So let's go ahead and continue. There we go. Let's go back into our job form settings. We've added the new job form account, so we've connected. Let's go ahead into next. Okay. And it's going to ask us what type of post do we want to do? Do we want to use the submission to make a post, a page, a media, reusable blocks, or a template? In this case, we're going to use it to create a brand new post. So let's go ahead and select post, go to continue, and we're going to select advanced mode.
there we go. Now we have opened the Zapier editor. Um, this view mode that we're actually looking at, we can do it also on the Zapier side. But in this case, we'll stick here inside of JotForm. So what we're going to do is we are first going to test the trigger for the submissions that we have on a form. So for example, let's test the trigger. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna grab the submission data from the form so you know what to do with it. Um, this is filled out randomly just for testing purposes. We can see here we have the title, the content, and the name for this one. Let's go ahead and continue. Okay, now we're going to select the WordPress account. Whoops. The WordPress account that we selected. Again, we're gonna create a post. We're gonna select the account that we've added, which is this one right here. Okay, let's select it. Let's go ahead and continue. And again, we could change this if we like, if we wanna change it to another type of setting, if it's not gonna be a post. Again, we could change it again, page, media, or reusable. We're gonna keep it on post. And for the title, we're gonna use the fields from our post. In this case, we're gonna make a really simple example. So for example, we are going to use the title field. Let's go ahead and find that really quickly. This is the content and here we go. Here's the title, fields title, okay? And the content for this one, again, let's find the field from our form, which is down here, field content. And we can customize this even further. Um, for example, right now we are grabbing the data right from the submission, but we can add more information here. So for example, we can say, this is done by a test post, okay? So it's gonna ask, it's gonna add the field data from the submission, and this is gonna be added to every single time that a submission is filled out. This is just for an example, okay? Um, we have more options to select the author, the media, the comment status, the pink status, the format, um, categories, tags, so on and so forth. In this case, we'll keep it really simple. We're just going to create the post from the title and the content, okay? So let's go ahead and test and continue. Okay, so we've successfully made a test. We got a little green check mark here, so that means we can turn on our zap. Okay, now it's turned on. Let's go ahead and close this. We don't need it anymore. Um, we should see that test post that we made from Zapier. Okay, here is our test post that we've successfully tested from Zapier. And we can see it's a random post. Let's go ahead and edit really quickly. And here it is. Remember, we added this by default, and this is a message from the submission. Now, let's make a real post, a real use case. Let's go into Publish, Open in a new tab, and this is our form. Remember, we can. We, this could be an example of someone who is a virtual assistant, someone who is making posts for you. They don't have to be logged into WordPress or even go check out WordPress. They could do it right from here. So let's just fill out this really quickly. I'll put in my name. The title for this, we're gonna say, this is, this is a test post title. And the content, this is a test post for the content section. All right, and category, we'll just say tablets. Um, we're, gonna, we're not gonna upload one for now. Let's go ahead and submit. And there we go. Now we should see this post on our WordPress site. Let's go check it out. Okay, here's our WordPress site. This is our post that has been made recently. Here is the post title that we've created really quickly with the submission. But let's go check out our post. So let's go into our website. Let's go into blog, which is where our posts are. And here it is. This is a test post title. Let's go ahead and open this. And this is a really simple test, really short content and all that. This is just the title from the form and the content also from the form. This is the test post for the content section. And remember, we've added this for default for every single post that is made. Well, that is how you connect your job form with WordPress to create posts. All you have to do is the setup at the beginning and after that is just filling out the form and it's gonna create that post for you automatically. Well, we thank you all for watching and we'll see you on our next tutorials.